All right, gonna continue Baldur's Gate 3 if you're watching us later on YouTube. Thanks for clicking. Hope you've been enjoying so far. I always say it's an intro, but it's just that shit. I don't know. All right. I don't recall what we are doing last time. I just know that it went well. Oh, that's right. We finished the quest line with Halson. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Got it. I... Just gonna look at what I have in the meantime. I've already forgotten how to look at the. There we go. No, wait, that's. Or is that just in the map? Oh, it's in the map. Okay, got it. Uh... Right, so we had the choice of where to go. Through the underground. There's nothing else on the side I don't think we need to do. There's one that's embrace your potential. Oh, that's the... I think that's, that's the... the one that's, that wants you to eat the... Wants you to use the little vine maggot things you found. Right. Rescue the Grand Duke Raven Guard. Yeah, we've already seen that. That was the night song. It says we reached the temple that is rumored to contain the night song, we should search for it. I mean, there's still the one that says resurrect the husband. That's not going to happen. We found the cellar mentioned by the journal. Time to have a look around. Hmm. Yeah, out of here. Okay. I mean, is is that temple thing important? Sorry, which temple thing? Let's hang on. Which one was it? Find the night song. Yeah, it's not like really in our immediate area though. Hmm. Like that's gonna be down the line. Okay. Sort of deal. Final Fantasy. What the hell? What's up? I'm just trying to clear up some space because because um, I literally don't have enough space on this drive for this update because this game is such a fat hog of space.
Such a fat space hog. Okay, come on. I'll talk to people I while. Last night. Oh, it's still. And so did you, judging from the way my tadpole is tingling. Someone came to me and promised to protect me while claiming that the parasite could empower me. Tempting as these powers sound, we should recognize this dream for what it is the tadpole's little trick. No good ever came from trusting honey-tongued strangers conjured up by illithid worms. Uh... Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I don't I trust it. This dream figure is no friend to us. Hmm... I got some junk to sell in the meantime. Fate spins along as it should. Dost thou require a new ally? Or mayhaps a resurrection instead? Wait, can you help me change my class? No. Hireling, it's not weird. What are you? No. There we I go. This Jesus. I thought this was a merchant. Oh, this just says withers. Sorry, sometimes Steam just has a stroke. Yeah, I've had that. It locks up. You're a vendor, right? Ah, my good fellow. Quite the cozy setup you have here. I'll just make myself comfortable. Thank you so much. Why, I'm practically an expert. They've tentacles, you know. Quite shocking. The druid Halson had some kind of mind flare specimen in a jar in his quarters. A replica, no doubt, but truly fascinating to see up close. Okay. I fought one of them. Here, on the Sword Coast. Impossible. Not only have I encountered one, I've killed that, one. That can't be. Yeah. You're either an excellent storyteller, or you've experienced something quite exceptional. Hmm. Tell me, have you noticed any residual psionic malaise since the alleged encounter? Uh, malaise, psychic transfer. This one. Curious. Elithids, their technical name, form a hive mind. One shouldn't be able to hear their dark whispers. Unless. <laughs> That's quite impossible. You'd have undergone ceramorphosis by now. If only a disbelief could alter facts. True. You'd be a mind flayer by now. You? Infected by a mind flayer? <laughs> Ridiculous. Isn't it? <laughs> Alright, so you're good to go now? Yes. Alright. I guess let's... We've done rest, alright? Yeah. Leave camp.
Okay, so I guess... Uh... Uh, can you send me an invite, though? Because I don't see you... Oh, really? In my list here. Hang on, it might be Steam that's offline. Oh, yeah. It's offline. Hold up. Alright. Should be on now. Player joined. Eventually I will get that yellow die. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, what's the waypoint we're going to? There's a bunch of markers. So, in terms of... Right, so there's in travel the through the Underdark. Version, yeah. That's going to basically move us into the next area. Or the mountain We do still path. have, uh... We can meet with the Rugen's associates to do their finish to like find the missing shipment side. Yeah, thing. let's do that. That's like right, right ne next to the rest anyway. Yep. Let's and go over to Joaquin's rest. Yeah. Whoa. That that was the f what? The hell? <laughs> Oh, well, uh, no, no, no. Over there. I did something. You know what happened? You teleported, and it, I clicked. I was clicking on the, the icon to teleport, but it clicked on your your circle. So then it put oh. the camera on you. I was like, wait, what? Yeah, I didn't I teleport? Did. Yeah, yeah. Um, so how do we get over there? It's like through the house. Yeah, if we just go over to that, yeah. To that. I think we do have to go through the, the fire area. <coughs> 13 gold. Probably remnants from the fire. Okay. Here we can actually, um... Should be enough. Oh, that's nice. I turned on a setting that just automatically drops me into conversations. Oh, nice. Dexterity, wait, listen. That's not bad. Okay, good. Hey. He freezes, waiting on your next word. Okay. Ooh, that's a little harder. Yes! <laughs> oh, hell dwarfs! I thought you were flaming fist. Well, down you go then. They'll be on us soon. So if you're looking to trade, you'd best be quick. Entrance is hidden behind the wardrobe. Here's the key. Just as a refresher, too, the guys, one of the guys who we like saved from the knolls or whatever, mm. uh, told us about this place. Right. And I think, did we? It's a hatch, yeah. We 
basement. Well, I mean, it's not in the red, so... Sausage. <laughs> Four kinds of sa oh, more sausage. There's more sausage in here too. We're Got eating dry well. Rope sausage, spicy pork sausage, salami. Eating Let's well tonight. So that's the wardrobe he mentioned right there. A single candle. That's it. Oh, that. Wait, how? I can hardly feel the spinning. I thought for a sec you had to. I tried to click on that and it climbed on the crates. Hidden stairs. Okay. Well, there's a waypoint. Battle? No, what I said. I mean, this is good. A lot of camp supplies. Yeah. Some garlic. Garlic. That's far enough. What's your business down here? Answer honestly, and maybe we'll kill you clean. Intimidation. Hold on. That's the lad who saved us from the knolls. You revealed our location. That tongue gets any looser, Rugen. I'll cut it out. Okay. Come down then. Seems you're a friend of the family. The importance of them working. This is done now. What's that smell? <laughs> <laughs> I need only tell her it's a gambling debt. It's happened. You. Zaris may have welcomed you, but I can see you're not one of her thugs. You need to buy me. Hmm. Why are you selling? I guess why. <laughs> I am not some lower city coin lad offering you a tumble. I am an artist. Are you now? My patron will reward you for my rescue. Tenfold, whatever ransom you pay, I guarantee it. Who is your patron? As far as you're concerned, she may as well be the coin maiden herself. But there will be time for questions later. Please, speak to Brem. I thought that was reflections for a sec, but he's covered in paint. Yep. Okay. Speak to Brem. That's Bella. Oh yeah, Brem is over back there. Yeah. I can't remember how to ping. That's Brem. Well, 
Don't you cut a fine figure? Want your portrait done? If you have the gold, my pet artist will make you a most pet artist. Likeness. It's not the artist I want to buy, it's the artist. I doubt you've got that kind of dosh line about. Dosh? That kind of dosh? Cut down your price. Ooh. Ugh. You got advantage, though. Huh? You got advantage, at least. Yeah. Nah. Oh. That's, that's rough. Now, is he gonna get upset? How upset is he gonna get, is the question. I can roll again. Okay, hold on. Duh! Nope. <laughs> oh no, we're having a day of bad rolls, are we? <laughs> then what? You're gonna kill the entire Zentrim next? Good luck, prick. The price is the price. Pay up. I'll get lost. We don't have a thousand. Do we not? Hmm? Something I can help you with. Oh, uh, you what? almost have enough. Fancy really? I so can give I. you some gold. Hold on, hold on. I can sell stuff. I can sell stuff. I got stuff to sell. Silver glass. I got a bunch of like random junk from the last thing. Well, I'm carrying a barrel for some reason. <laughs> ring. Another ring. A helmet. Hang on. Yeah. Ritual staff. Silver cakes and malachite. Maybe now. I forgot the scale thing. Okay, that gave me 135. I think I can do it. Alright, I can do it. I can't show you the good stuff till Zaris gives the say so mind. Friends of the Zen only. You oh. That's, that was weird. I couldn't interact with him for a sec. Uh oh. Okay, I'm here to buy. You've got that kind of dosh line about. Pay him. He's all yours. Don't forget to feed him. He bought something proper. Carlac approves. Alright. I can't say I've ever been bought before. How much did I fetch? Oh my god. No, don't tell me. There's nothing so depressing as learning one's true value. Well, you should at least know what you've paid for. I am the Oscar Fevras. At your service. Oh, the. The. And um, I am the warrior. <laughs> my slaves do not speak until they are spoken to. When will I get my reward? Fear not, friend. My patron will make good on all my debts. Oh my boy. Betrothed, I should say. This is not gonna end well. Assuming Lady Janeth still wishes to marry me after our little um, falling out. Mm-hmm. You recall a recent scandal. A patriarch of Baldur's Gate who wished to marry a commoner. I did not run away. A date was never set. There were complications. Be before my fame, my patron, there was a... Uh, another woman. One I planned to spend my life with. But when Lady Janet offered me a future, well, it felt only right to mention my past. Right, but unwise. I was forced to retreat into the countryside to paint and to clear my head. To choose, I suppose. Okay. Hmm? Oh, absolutely not. 
Uh, fame and wealth suit me very well, no doubt. And yet, I think of that first love, and I hesitate. <laughs> Likely I'm going mad. Regardless, we have more immediate concerns. Your reward once I've returned to the city, for one. Say, you... I don't suppose you could spare some coin. <laughs> Ease the discomforts of the road some. You freedom. him. I actually have nothing to give. No coin? Mightily imprudent of you. I suppose I can endure the walk sober. Suffering has become an old friend, after all. Until Baldur's Gate, then. What a drama queen. Yeah. It's like, dude was a prisoner, and then wants a luxury right away. I regret mm. the decision already. Uh, hold on. I'm guessing there's more up here. Thanks again. Hope Zari's treated you to something nice. No. I haven't talked I to Zari. one for saving my people. The Zentarim look out for their own. Even if it's Rugen. That's worth some coin. And my thanks. Okay. Our trader can show you some of our more exotic items now. But don't delay. This place is likely to be rubble soon. What are you planning to do? Someone kidnapped a duke. Right on our bloody doorstep. The Flaming Fist will need someone to blame. I don't plan on it being us. Hmm. I got a bow called Harold. <laughs> Harold the bow? We'll take it. Named after Harold Butterbrisk, who, oh, named after Harold, who, who owned, owned the Butterbrisk, the Butterbrisk Inn, Inn in Waterdeep. Yeah, quaffing is a shootable offense. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Dang, it looks pretty cool though. Yeah, I'll take it. Honestly, I, I, despite being a barbarian, I've gotten some pretty mad crits with the bows and crossbows. Oh, yeah. It counts as doing damage to maintain range, too, so it's good. Yeah. Okay, I'll check the vendor, and I guess we're done here. Hey. Are we unpacking? All right. Back already? Of course. Got some interesting stock for a friend of the family. Giant. They have a bow called Giant Breaker. Oh. I want to take a look at what they've got as well. Yeah. I'm seeing if there's anything interesting. There's Gloves of Thievery, which is just clothing advantage on sleight of hand checks. Um, Glove of Thorns. Advantage on sleight of hand checks? Yeah. That's actually pretty good. Might give that to Shadowheart or something so she can be our resident There's lock picker. Gloves of Hail of Thorns. Grants you where to cast Hail of Thorns. Uh, I don't think there's anything else. Padded armor is just light armor. There's no clothing from what I can see. Morning Star. Okay, nothing really that useful. Hmm. Alright, you can have a look. Alright, I'm done with that. I want to trade. Wonder if the fist pay better than this lot.
An additional damage according to your strength modifier. Oh. That bow would actually be pretty good. For either you or Carlac. Hmm. Because it like scales damage off of strength, which is what you have both most of your stats in. I mean, Carlac doesn't generally. have a special bow, so it might be worth getting that. Of course. Got some interesting yeah, I don't. For we don't have enough for it though. It's oh like really? Seven hundred forty-four. Yeah. Oh okay. Oh, that's bad. Okay. It's a shame. If we really yeah. want to. We can come back for it later, but I don't think it's really worth it. Yeah. Gee, if only we had, like, about a thousand gold to spare. I know, right? <laughs> if only. Okay, so... Alright, well, yeah, that's about all there is down here. We're going to meet up with that guy. Yeah, so we can either... Go... The options we were given was to either go over the mountain pass... Hmm. Or to go underground through the Underdark. I'll lean towards underground. Okay, so let's go back to the goblin camp then. Uh, camp, just camp, The waypoint's literally called goblin camp here. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Hmm. Oh, there's still some goblins here. Shit. Oh, I just went to camp. I didn't go to goblin oh. camp. I'm coming in. Yeah, there. there's one called. Yeah, there we go. It's only two goblins. We didn't finish the job. Guess not. A couple of stragglers. Forty-five. Oh, now. they're kind of pretty far away. All right. The problem is, there's, I can see another one up high that might get aggroed, then there's more over there. Is there? Oh, yeah. Shit. This could be problematic, because... If you look, right? There's only... Five? five? I'm not sure what we do. I think we can take him. Alright. <laughs> oh. Oh. Okay, there's a bit more than five. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's what I was saying. That's that's going to lead to the center of town. I didn't realize we didn't clear out this like front area of goblins yet. No, we kind of just stayed behind that door. Well, we're going to need to if we want to get to where we need to go anyway. So. All right, guess I got no choice. It's just a bunch of goblins. That ogre is a bit concerning, Scary. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, you're just nasty with that thing. For some reason, I don't, I don't get why. Sometimes it does more damage than my melee attacks. Well. Try to bake, break his concentration on that. It's a good thing that they're kind of just funneling. Ooh. Oh my god. That was from downtown. <laughs> uh oh. They're coming from the right hand side as well. Okay. Moving. 
Not enough movement to shoot, really? Suck. I think in this case it's probably better just to hang back and snipe. Yeah. <clears throat> oh boy. <laughs> the chicken lady. Mm -hmm. Bastard. Yeah, that one up there was going to be a problem. Not if I smash his skull in. That is nice. Yeah, my spare weapon should be able to handle that. Yeah. Alright, you assholes. Okay, hang on. Yeah, move a little closer. Since they were focusing on you a little bit. Get some high ground on these fuckers. Nice. Damn it. <laughs> wow, what a toss. Wow, yeah, that was a throw. Okay, here we go. Shadow Art, you really need to get your <laughs> shit together, okay? It happens a lot. Yeah, it's kind of like a meme at this point. Like, Shadow Heart, the way she's built is just not ideal for class. Uh, that's it. That's interesting. Well, hello, where are you going? I think he literally what? just doesn't have space. Yeah, I guess. To get this, into this, this was a good choice. Ooh, this positioning was a good choice. I think running in there was the poor choice. So. <laughs> what, is, where is, what is going on here? Yes, attack the spare weapon. Lucky reroll. Can potentially make them miss, but not. Nah. Like I tend to save those for. It's, it's a three. Yeah, when they dire crit. situations. Yeah. Yeah. If it's gonna be like a heavy damage crit, that was that's what I was looking for. It didn't seem like that was gonna be the case.
Really no. Well, we'll stay casting for now. Enough for cleave. Yep. Yeah. Nice. It's fine. Won't need to do anything, I don't think. Um, it says three to eight. Yeah. Okay, it's fine. Hey, this is good. More cleave. Shadow Heart, come on. Don't suck. It's time to stop sucking. Reckless attack. Oh! <laughs> nice. There that was we satisfying. Go. That was satisfying. I just took out three. Hell yeah. Okay, um... And Shadow Heart stop sucking. Love to see it. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. I don't know if the Ogre can f Can it fit? Yeah, it can fit. Yeah, he uh -oh. can. Uh -oh. oh, he coming. Oh, lord. I guess... I probably should have moved with Karlak and just stayed there. Go. So I'm only on 29 fall. HP. Just keep attacking the glowy hammer. Should be able to move back and attack. Thank you. Don't walk directly in my moonbeam, by the way. It mm. will hurt you. Yeah, I'm just outside the range of it. I'll be fine. Eldritch Blast. Nope, that is a reroll. Damn. Man, they really don't like Kalak. It's fine. Nice. Yeah, I kind of don't have a choice here. Uh, 
I accidentally did that. <laughs> Ooh, right, the mirror image thing. I forgot about that. Yeah, fuck you. Yeah, we're fine. Okay, I mean... Still okay. Oh, God damn it. That's unfortunate. Nice. That's a 24. What? Had nothing Slightly on his body. Had nothing on his body. Have to keep going. It's fine. <laughs> Don't. It's like just a four. It's honestly not bad. Could have been worse. down. Ugh, there's so many archers in that direction. I want to make these archers reposition. They can't hit me. Right over on the right? Yeah. Yeah, there's I'm gonna drop my there's moon beam on them next turn. There's only a couple here, so this makes it a bit easier. Now they're gonna have to run forward to be able to hit anyone. Nice. There you yeah. go. Yeah. Oh, you fucked they, up. They dashed in. That was a poor decision, Goblin. Goodbye. Nice. Fucking idiot. Well, they're not known for being very smart. Yeah. Intelligence is not a common feature in goblins, for sure. Dang. So close. Sounds painful, man. Ah, oh, it's a shame. It's okay, it's only three damage.
Really? All right. Goodbye. Okay, not quite. He somehow survives all the way up until his turn. Again, he's gonna die through the moonbeam no matter what. There we go. See, we got this. Yeah, yeah. There's a d dwarf poem on one of the bodies. Oh. oh, there's more. I mean, uh, someone's slightly drunk. I'm more than a bird. More than a plane. <laughs> More than some. Better place on a midnight train. Can't quite reach him. Ow! Oh my god. In position. Dude doesn't like birds. Oh my wow. god. Can we go from here? With haste. There we go. Yeah, finally. Heck your fucking eye out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Eat that. Can't get me up here. It's time to shine, Shadow Heart. <laughs> oh, my God. There's seventy percent chance to hit with advantage. Wow. Like how? Actually how? Oh no, the rolls have been kind of dick today. Yeah. There we go. It's all right. Might need to take a rest. Yeah, probably a good call. At the very least, a short rest, for sure. Yeah, short rest. So, we're going... in here? Uh, we're going back into the actual camp itself. Okay. Shit, there's probably things at the entry as well. Oh, yeah. Some spam. Yeah, there's more over here. More enemies? Yep. Oh, okay. There's one. Kidding. It seems to be watching a cliff. It's on its own. Close ranks. Oh. It's pretty much dead. Uh. 
Yeah, that's it. Yeah, there's another one over here on me on the bridge. Angry. Whoa, that was a crit. Not as angry as me. Ooh. It's got a ring that gives plus three movement speed. It's a nice ring. Now we can go back inside. Okay. Oh, roasted dwarf leg? <laughs> Yummy. Oh, can actually you can actually take this. Ribs. Yeah, some of it is actual oh. There's like a whole pig in this box. Some quality yeah. ham. What I've started doing too is just sending all food to camp. Because it. You can just like. Access it from the chest. Wow. And that way it's not. You know, filling up your inventory. Dude, this whole, this whole thing. Look at this. Don't catch a break. You're not yeah, taking A lot of it is dwarf. So? <laughs> what do you mean, so? <laughs> is there a downside? Yeah, dwarf! You are what you eat. Listen, I'm not gonna... <laughs> I'm not gonna tolerate cannibalism, okay? <laughs> there comes a time where a man must draw a line. <laughs> what if I can sell We've been adventuring together a long time. I could sell it at the very least, no? I do not wish violence upon you, but if I see you eat your own kind, I may, <laughs> I may see red. I don't Can think the game even lets you eat it. Really? Let's see. Or you can probably eat it, but it doesn't count as food. It doesn't count as food, no, but I can sell it, so. Oh, that's not better. <laughs> that's, that's barely that's, better. Well, the damage has been done. You know, me not selling the meat yeah, isn't gonna oh, bring the fuck. dwarf back. Yep, it's a good thing we rested. Perhaps this is what we deserve. Uh, what's the best move here? Hang on. Incoming. Never a dull moment. on my feet. Damn. Good days. Mmm. Oh. Fucking hell. 
god. All right, prioritize that one. Wow, it didn't land. That didn't work. My turn. Covered. Very nice, very nice. Time to push my luck again. Wait, there's more? Oh, there's still more. It's just one more. Uh, I think you have to end Carlac's turn. Yeah. I was just Ow. saying if I can move any further. Uh, I'll see. Snipe. <laughs> now, perhaps now we should take a long rest. Yeah, I mean, this next room should be... Yeah, I think uh, we actually have to do that the next rooms, but still. Yeah, long rest. You have enough camp supplies to restore all hit points. Okay, sure. Any exclamation marks? Gale's got one. Don't let me drag you away. Enjoy yourself. You've earned a night of revelry. Okay. They might be tied to you. I don't know. That's well, it went it. away, so I guess that's all you have to say. Alright. There's nothing else, then. He is that. Baby, by a sleepy time. Actually, hold on. Hold on. Yeah, I'm gonna try to respect Shadow okay. Heart real quick. Go for it. I'm gonna get a snack and a drink out of the fridge. Hold on, I think you have to decline the... Decline? Cancel it. Cancel what? Oh, never mind. It just has been waiting for other players for some reason. No, I'm moving around. I'm not doing anything. Weird. Mm. Okay, we're good. It's... Okay.
Okay, in a very, like, RPG fashion, I'd have cheese, <laughs> meat, and crackers. Hell yeah. Some charcuterie action. Yeah, dude, potato chips are so fucking expensive nowadays, it's ridiculous. Like, the fact that you can get cheese and crackers, and it's, like, about the same, if not, if not cheaper, it's ridiculous. Mm. All right, but yeah, I gotta let the cheese kind of settle a little. You're still respecting, yeah? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I got... We got two cheeses and some Serrano ham. Ooh. And crackers. Earlier I made some... Ravioli, like spinach and cheese ravioli with bacon. Ooh. Like bits of bacon. Can't go wrong pretty with that. good. And a little bit of spicy water to go with it. <laughs> The crackers are, well, I don't know. It's salt and pepper, but it says pink salt and pepper. Supposedly from a river here in Australia. Which, yeah, I, I don't know. They were cheap. <laughs> Honestly, probably healthier in the long run instead of potato chips. There we go. Alright, made her better. Better? What'd you do? Just fixed her stats. Mm. Like, clerics are supposed to be very, like, wisdom... ...focused. But for whatever reason, they make her super, like, dex... ...focused. Right, I gotcha. So, basically just... Moved that around a bit. Yeah, I noticed I have quite a bit of dex, but I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing for, for this class. Nah, that's probably why you're landing those nasty ranged attacks, too. Yeah. Alright. You ready? Mm-hmm. Going to bed. We are rich in food supplies. Oh. Another dream. I promised I'd be back. Pretty quick. Don't worry. I have things under control. For now. You haven't been using the Parasite's power. You think you don't need it. I don't need it. But things haven't gone as you expected. You hoped a druid as powerful as Holton might be able to remove your tadpole. But he couldn't. You're desperate to be rid of it. Understandable. But you're looking for solutions in the wrong places. Hmm. Yes. Holcin is correct. Your parasite is Hang on, I'll make it on private. For some reason it was private. In magic that prevents its yeah, it just automatically privates those. The source of the tadpole's magic is destroyed. Any attempt to remove it will kill you. You were lucky that Holcin knew this. His instincts are right. The parasites were merely a symptom of a greater sickness in Faerun. Okay. 
What is the sickness? But its progress towards domination is clear. These parasites are more than illicit spawn. They are vessels for control. The infected hear the voice of the absolute and leave it to be a god. If you witnessed it yourself with Priestess Gut, that is how the cult of the absolute is spreading. The highest of their rank, the true souls, carry a tadpole just like yours. It is how they receive their orders. It is what makes them obey. When the order to transform is given, it will not be a matter of days. They will be mind flayers in an instant. Were it not for my protection, so would you. Okay. Who are you? Oh, okay. It's complicated. <laughs> Just like you. Just like you, I was infected with a mind flayer parasite. Just like you, I seek to be free of it. I've been trying to escape from this evil for a long time. Once, I almost succeeded. Now, through you, I've been given a new chance. You can go where I cannot, and I can protect you from that evil. If we work together, we may turn this around. Hells, they need me. I have to go. They? Who? What's going on over there? I used to protect you. I stole it from someone. They want it back. I will hold them off for as long as I can. But sooner or later, I will be worn down. You must discover the source of the magic that controls the parasites before that happens. The cultists are gathering at Moonrise Towers. Oh, well, we're going there anyway. The powers your parasite gives you to convince them you are one of them. And when you find the source of their magic, destroy it. Go. Our freedom depends on it. <laughs> so mysterious yeah so ominous okay uh any exclamation marks anywhere it would appear not hmm now that I've fixed Shadowheart, I kind of want to change my class, too. <laughs> Go for it if you want. Well, the main reason I made a druid is so that I could do a little bit of support healing while also being useful in battle. Mm. But now, Shadowheart's healing should be much better. I'm just sitting here enjoying some of my cheese and crackers. It started getting so popular that when I went today to get some, they've expanded the area. Like, it's twice the size of what it used to be. Oh, really? Yeah, just in terms of offering. The potato chip aisle is just, like, so full, no one's buying anything, and the cheese and crack area is... Crazy. It's just full of people. That's actually kind of funny. Well, no one, no one's gonna pay like six dollars for a bag of potato chips. Not when you can get some some pretty decent cheese and meat for just yeah, a couple dollars sense. more. I 
I don't know. Just supermarkets have become so dodgy. They had this, um, like, four-pack of beverages. And I was about to get it until I saw that they had a single beverage. So the four-pack was ten bucks, and then the single beverage I saw it was, like, two thirty-nine. I'm like, hang on a minute. <laughs> It's like, really? They're, they're charging me for the cardboard that it comes in? There's no value in it at all. How big are the pack of chips? 180 grams. Inflation and shrinkage. That used to be 200. Wouldn't be able to convert it to, like, <laughs> Imperial. But yeah. Pretty much have to wait for them to be on special. I still have some in the pantry. That sort of price used to be gas station prices, just, you know, anything that was $5 for a bag of potato chips, that was gas station. And now that's the norm, it's just, it's insane. And we'll play with Doggo whilst the respec happens. Scratch's tail wags enthusiastically. Scratch's <laughs> tongue lolls out happily, his tail wagging even faster. I think I still have the ball. Where is it? It's somewhere in my inventory. <laughs> ah, that's so good. Oh, there's an exclamation mark, Gale. It is a strange experience. Each time a new, I can kind of lost soul is spelunking through the darkness that is me, only to be sacrificed on the dread altar of the heart. Somehow the second artifact hasn't had the effect of the first. It somewhat relieved the discomfort, but I fear my hunger hasn't quite... Ah. Oh, this thing. What's happening? The magic isn't having the effect it should have. It's not like the last time, like a rainstorm that quells a forest fire. It merely drizzles. The embers still sizzle. The fire remains undefeated. I'm not certain what's going on, but nothing good. Please, I need to think. I need to retrace my steps to a glade of calm and think. Mm -hmm. Thank you for the artifact. A great deal of trouble it was, too. A great deal of trouble, indeed. Okay, well. I'm sure we're going to have to give him another one at some point. I'll sell all the meat. Once I get a chance. Seems reasonable if it's a good brand. No, it's not. Good brand potato chips in Australia were... Like, $3. Base price. They've all basically doubled in price. Three fifty at worst, but... Nowhere near what they are now. Yeah, I'm ready. Alright. 
Like, I guess that's that's the context. It's like, the best brand of potato chips did not go over $4, and now even the mediocre brands are like $5 minimum. Six... Six to six fifty for like the good brands. Okay, well we can just leave now. I mean, I get it. Inflation happens, but this is like inflation that has doubled the price, which is just insane. Inflation and shrinkage. Okay, we're just I don't know, I'm saying we're going back this way. We're going back the other way, yeah. I got disoriented for a sec. My favorite brand bag of chips, whatever you call it, last year it was uh, $3. And it's like very good brand. It's like probably the best brand you can get. $3. Now it's minimum of 6 We're not on special. Oh shit, there's more here. You don't eat enough crisps to know the prices. Yeah, that's fair. I don't either, but, you know. I know how much they should cost, and know that the current prices are a bit of a joke. Do not react. Ah, oh, I got the full eight. That's annoying. Need to find a way forward. Oh. I think the the most dodgy thing they do is they'll put a sticker, well, a little tag thing to make it look like. The chips are on special, but it's just the regular price. Like when I went today, it was five fifty. They're like, "Yeah, it's five fifty and then they show how much it costs. I'm like, "You guys are just highlighting the regular price." Marketing? Oh, yeah. Three to eight damage. Eh, let's reroll. Got saved. The problem Australia has is like... Um... Our supermarkets are basically... Two. It's like... Almost- it's a duopoly, almost. There is a third one, which is this German um, supermarket chain. But in general, it's just between the two, and they kind of can do whatever they want. Okay. You should probably lead. <laughs> I went into a corner and then was like, shit. It's gobbled in this, in this cage. Oh. Perception successful. Slide of hand proficiency. Plus two. I should be fine with this. Wow. Oh no, the rolls are so shit today. We can just destroy the cage door, maybe. Yeah, try it. Not sturdy. Oh, oh my god. Okay, well, he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> yes, for once, I didn't cause the explosion. Uh, what's that? You having trouble with uh, figuring out where there's dangers, eh? 
<laughs> oh god. It's okay, Wally. We'll tell you how to look at danger. Step one. You run in. If you don't see fire, you're okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, supermarkets have started only giving discounts if you have their club card, don't like it. Oh, man. <sighs> Australia's not at that point, but it wouldn't surprise me. Um, they do have loyalty. Okay. Like stay, a loyalty thing. Stay there for a second. Sure. I'm, is, am I far enough? I should... Yeah, you... Yeah. <laughs> I like the hesitation. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Totally. Mm-hmm. You ready for some fireworks? The loyalty card, that's what the word you're looking for. Yeah, we have that here, but... The card is more towards... Um... Like, you can buy things with the points they get, as opposed to getting discounts... At the store. But, I mean, at the end of the day, it's just, like... Shopper data, that's all it is. I'll just chill out here. In front of me? The little circle what? with the... A little circle? Fucking that. Wait, do it again? Oh, what the hell? Right, I see the circle. What about it? Just take note of that. Okay, it's up. That's all I'll say. Okay. I've seen that somewhere else. If that's what you mean by it. You see what I'm talking about, right? Like the black circle and the white circle and the, all that? There's four circles on the wall, and yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Just, it's like, yeah, just take that, the top just take one's filled up, and then it's like half left, half right, you know? Alright, uh, let's head on this way. I'm a rogue now, so I can kind of feel the decks roll of like unlocking doors and disarming traps. They've had them for years, but only recently have they get keep discounts behind it. I think they can't do it here in Australia. We just have a consumer body that prevents that kind of stuff. Like of all the things we get right here in Australia, that is that is the biggest one. Just if uh, companies do dodgy things, they get fined. Oh, Alrighty, I see. Alrighty, it's puzzle time. Okay. I guess it depends which way is north. Interlocking circles with moons and stars. This must be the seal mentioned in that journal. Maybe we can work this thing out. Normally, I show a group price on shelf, then it says club card price. Or price can be double. Yeah, I mean, that's... That's the sort of thing that they would investigate here in Australia. Oh shit, I had to pay attention to the pattern. I didn't pay attention to the pattern, I thought it was insignificant. I just paid attention to the lighting. Okay. I was gonna take a screenshot, but I was being lazy. I'm gonna go quickly go. <laughs> I didn't- I didn't realize how much attention I had to pay to it. Yeah, this is one of those things where I just know the answer, so, like, helping would just be... Mm. Spoilers. Or cheating, or something. Nah, I mean... I know what it is now, it's just a formality, really. I think I went the wrong way. All right, just solve it. I'm lost. <laughs> <laughs> I have no fucking sense of direction. 
You have the regulator does take notice. So here, the regulator is proactive, but at the same time, um, if they get enough consumer complaints, they'll look into it. And the punishment is pretty severe, like... It ranges, but at the bare minimum, it's a fine. At the worst end is, like, they have to take out either a newspaper advertisement saying they deceive customers, or on their web- if it's, like, an online presence on their website, they have to put this massive banner that said, you know, court ordered, they deceived customers, blah blah blah. Which is, yeah, it's, it's pretty brutal. But it, it keeps them in check, like, that's the great thing. It's it's rare that they do dodgy shit. Time to descend. Ooh, that's quite the abyss. Regulators don't have that power here, yeah. It's the same in a lot of countries. Like, we have very strict consumer laws here. Which is really good. Okay. Up. The big glowing room in the middle. Hmm. Ominous. Oh yeah, I leveled up. Should probably do the same. Gain the passive. Okay. Nothing really else to see there. Okay, back to it. Burlap sack. Hmm, okay. I'm not sure what I'm, <laughs> what I'm doing here. I just lit some candles, that's it. Can sit on a stool. Have a look around. What are you doing? <laughs> Slide of hand checks. Yeah, I'm just opening some of these doors and shit. Wow. Oh, waypoint discovered. Okay. Do we have no trap disarm kits? I have some, if you want to grab them. Okay. Just feel free to take them. Yeah, honestly... Lockpicks and disarm kits should all just go to me. I'm very skilled. Yeah, take them. I just grabbed them because I knew that would come in handy, so... Oh yeah, for sure. I'm our Dex boy now, I can handle... Handle Dex related things. I had a little bit of Dex, so I figured out worst I could do some, but... Yeah. Here we go. Now, pick the lock.
When the wearer deals radiant damage, they cause a radiant shock. Okay, let's go with Shadow Heart. Sounds pretty good. Wait, yeah, I forgot to tell you. Um, I went to this place that did breakfast to catch up with a friend, and uh, they had huevos rancheros loco Oh, that sounds pretty fucking, good. fucking amazing. That's <laughs> great. Yeah, Loco Moco. It's just good. I pretty mean, it's much very the, hard to get it wrong. Yeah. I mean, pretty much the the beef had just like refried beans mixed into it. Oh. And then the egg the egg was like spicy. It was really like good. That. And did I tell you what this lady said to me at work the other day? <laughs> what did she say? So you know how I cook at the tables and stuff, right? Mm, yeah, yeah. So there was this table of white people. Mm -hmm. And they had not, not only was it their first time ever at our restaurant, but it was also their first time ever at Korean barbecue in general. Right. So they were all stoked and everything was fine, and then I'm, like, cooking, and they're like, oh, she's like, oh, wow, so you, like, cook for us and everything, huh? And I'm like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, we need to take care of everything for you so you don't have to worry about it. And she's just like, can you do any tricks? <laughs> I'm just like, B I swear to God. <laughs> do you want a biscuit? Do you want a biscuit? I'll give you a biscuit. For real, do, a, do a trick. Like, what the <laughs> fuck do you think this is? I was so mad. <laughs> I was like immediately so angry. Was, uh, I can picture the accent as well. Jeez. Yeah, it was really was something. It like, was it one of those ones where they have the inflection and it just like everything sounds like a question? Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. can you do a trick for us? Can you do a trick for us? Can you do any tricks? Oh my god, I love the way you cook food. Uh, <laughs> I was really like, uh, I was like, I slipped a little bit, but not enough to get in trouble. I was like, not if you want to keep your eye. And, uh, oh. and I was, she was like, oh. You should have laughed. It's just, ha 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 I had to immediately follow it. I was like, oh, but if you if you put some soju in my hand, I got you for sure. <laughs> yeah, you know, there's all these little like soju tricks you can do with bottles and stuff. But yeah, that was a that was an interesting one. That was a new one for me. I feel you, man. The one thing I used to get constantly was like do you speak Mexican? God. Just when I said that, you know, oh yeah, you know, family heritage from Central America. Oh, do you speak Mexican? Like, Mexican's not a language. <laughs> yeah. Or when people tell you to speak American. Speak, say something in Spanish. Yeah. This is America. We speak American here. Oh my god. I mean, to be fair, it it is a classification of English, so... Yeah, but that's not how they mean it. <laughs> no, I know. That's the thing. It's like, there is, there is some truth behind it, but that's not what they mean. Um, so you may have missed it. Is this Minotaur still standing up for you, by the way? Yeah, I've noticed that... Okay, he's supposed to be lost, dead. It's lost health. He's supposed to be dead. Really? We kind of missed it, but the Vinatar like just charges the gate and then just gets like beamed by these statues. So glitch. Well, the fact that he's so alive is a glitch, but <laughs> it's basically telling you that going out there might be dangerous for our lives. What's that? I'm playing a game and something didn't go to plan. The game glitched out again. Hmm. So what do we do? That's the question, isn't it? I don't want to open the gate because... I mean, look, I'm haphazard. 
I am, but the, <laughs> I saw that. And I was like, hmm, let's just let's just wait a sec here. We could hit how about this? Hit a save and mm -hmm. let's see what happens. Alright. It might be After completely you, sir. It might be completely bugged. You never know. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right, then. <laughs> there he goes. Hmm? Whatever's ahead, even more intriguing. It's fine. So it's scripted. I fixed it. Okay. I did lose a little health. It says dead. He's standing there on my screen still. Yeah, he's he's dead. He just didn't get the the memo. Full death animation for some reason. <laughs> Yeah, world's kind of your oyster down here. It's just a brand new area. Hmm. I don't want to influence too much of where you decide to go. Nightlight? Nature failed. Wait, what the... Oh. They're coming. They're coming. <laughs> okay. <laughs> They're coming. They're coming, dude. They are coming. <laughs> you are coming. <laughs> Seems like everyone's coming. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's time to come. Oh god. I'm Never sorry. do that again. I gotta do the warrior voice for that. Oh you. yes! Man, you really. You really gonna ignore this? Ignore what? Oh. I didn't see that, to be honest. Slender drow blade impales the stone. A sword in a stone. Keeping a silent vigil. Religion, strength. I'm going for strength. I Oof. think that's probably the right call with you. It's gonna fail. Yep, knew Ooh. it. I knew it. I knew it. Like just, I knew it. <laughs> Roll again. It's just today, the rolls have been bad, and they're just gonna continue to be bad. Yeah, I can have Shadow Heart try to do it, maybe. She's religious. One more time. Okay. I believe. You cunt. I don't believe anymore. <laughs> That's it. We are doomed today. No matter how you rip or tug, the sword remains firmly lodged in the stone. Guess you're not the king. Mm -mm. Religion? I can try religion. Watch this succeed. Ah. <laughs> I would have laughed if that would have succeeded. I can't recall anything this esoteric. There are too many rituals about swords to count. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, give it a try. Right, Shadow Heart, you're up. Slender Drow Blade impales the stone before <laughs> <laughs> He 
can't recall anything this essay. Oh my god. There are too many rich Try strength, like you may as well. Wow. wow. No Fuck me. Grip or tug, the sword remains firmly This is really something. Stone. Wait, I can try call I can't I? What a charmer. Yep. Okay. Call should be Send equal. A drow blade impales the stone before you, keeping a silent vigil. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what to say. No matter how you grip or tug, the sword remains firmly lodged in the stone. <laughs> okay. Holly. Better if that would have been the strength roll, that would have been amazing, but no. <clears throat> well, yeah, today's an unlucky day. Anything this esoteric. There are too many rituals about swords to count. Oh well. Well, I mean you can try. It's worth it. Yeah. Just try anyway. You never know. You might just get the lucky roll. Oh yeah. Slender drow blade impales the stone before you, keeping a silent vigil. You can't recall anything this esoteric. I really um. Too many rituals try strength. I'm gonna. Oh my hey. god, you dick! <laughs> it feels like you're really outstrength to the fucking the blade. barbarians in my party. Yank. The weapon slips free from the stone. Well. There you go. We have that now. Take your prize. It's a pretty good sword. I think I'd give it to Shadowheart. Alright, what now? <laughs> I just I can't believe that. But it's powerful, of course. Chaotic luck. Whoa. Ow. Uh-oh. Oh. Predator of the Dark. Around the corner. Oh, you went down, I see. Yeah. This thing just appeared when I went down there. Uh oh. I'm, I might be in trouble here. Okay. 
Nice. That's much better heal. Yeah, fuck it up. Mm-hmm. Can't even catch my breath. Still breathing. Despite everything. I've got a rage instead. Ooh. Yes. It's a meaty hit. Uh-oh. It's okay, we should be able to finish up. Without needing to res. Yeah. Everything's fine. I guess do short rest. Great barbarian armor on it. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Blood Guzzler. Fantastic. A bone, a bucket, a shovel. All right, nice. I mean, this is more yellow now. This is more warrior style. Yeah. If you can die yellow, it would be even better. Oh, jeez, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm befuddled. What is that screaming? Or yelling? Someone laughing maniacally. It's you. Really? In your befuddlement, yeah. Restless. By a chorus of turbulent music, through one <laughs> creature sing many voices, the harmony of an entire collective. Sovereign, he has come. He is here. The choir fades. A single melody rises above the others, brassy and commanding. I am sovereign. You see a vision. Your lifeless body wrapped in fungal tendrils. The sovereign is threatening you. State your purpose. Hmm. Persuasion. I am seeking adventure. Okay. Three. Oh, I swear, I swear if this fucks up. <laughs> I swear. <laughs> yeah, that would have really been something. Fungal roots weave through your mind. Seeking your true intent. Then the sovereign drones a new melody. Cautious, but welcoming. Descend to me. Let us speak in flesh. The persistent Ew. music coaxes you forward. <laughs> the sovereign expects you. You don't want to speak in the flesh, dude? I mean, in the flesh, sure. In flesh, no. That has a different connotation to it. Nah, potato, potato. There's a vendor. I will definitely buy potions off that vendor. Guess we're here. 
Oh, accidentally. You see a fella on his own on your way in. Dwarf. Balin's his name. You're trading. Yep. I shall wait. Speak to the, the bull. It just said Bellow. Nothing else. Anything of interest in there? Other than maybe potions. That's all I want. I just want potions. Yeah, she's definitely got some... Beware heals a poison creature. The creature's no longer poisoned. Damn, that's pretty good. Very specific, though. Yeah, she definitely has some potions for you, though. Okay. Seems the shrooms there you are. More people every day. Thank you. You see a fella on his own on your way in. Dwarf. Balin's his name. Um. From. Bald. Blue tunic. Dumb as a stick. <laughs> Dumb as a stick. Mm -mm. Right. Never mind. I'm finding him. But don't come begging for coin if you find him. You try Prob to ransom him to me. You'll find yourself skinned and stuck with a fat old lout. So not that important. Okay. Show me your wells. It's all I want. Um, do I have anything to sell? Oh yeah, the mates. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's only worth one. Oops. Well, you'll be happy to know that I've disposed of the mates. It got me. Just selling that dwarf a bunch of dwarf meat. <laughs> it got me. That's, that's, that's supposed like, to make me happy? Well, almost 10% almost off my purchase. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Carl, like where you at? There we go. Let's get going. Okay. This guy over here has some stuff as well, if you're curious. Stuff? Selling some things. I might not have the money, but we'll see. He's got a circle of blasting into the headpiece that allows you to cast Scorching Ray. Uh, I do enjoy a it's got a ring that gives you dark vision for 12 meters. That's kind of cool, I guess. I don't yeah, really have any. All that, all that good. Hmm. I might just buy more potions. Ah, a visitor. You're a welcome sight. But let us observe the customs of the locals. 
The scholar's brow tenses. His voice spills into your skull, the spores connecting mind to mind. Blurg. Proud member of the Society of Brothers at your service. <laughs> or perhaps not. Your mind is far more complex than that of the fungi. Okay. I do enjoy a good bargain. If anything in my private collection is to your liking. Potions. Wait, what about the life bringer thing? Was that the thing you were talking about? What? Oh yeah, that's the one that lets you see... No, there's another one that says when the wearer gains lightning charges, they also gain HP. Oh yeah. Like, there's a bunch of different items that give lightning charges, so you kind of have to, like, put together a set for that. Okay. Nah, I'm good. Just bought potions. Very well. I have mushrooms right. to catalogue. <laughs> so you probably want to wanna come up here. I'm gonna have to worry about that for a while. If not over, then through. Oh wait, up there, I see. So you're gonna... What's going on here? Don't. Her condition is familiar. Poison derived from a wild weed common to the Underdark. She'll need an antidote soon. Apparently I, uh... Held by the poisoner. Nature. Looks like you just have something you have an antitoxin for. Give her an antitoxin. Apparently, I had that on me. Yep. Carlac -like approves. That's all I care about. Ah, gods. Whatever that is, I needed it. Why are you helping me? No arguments there. Felt like a hook horror was sorting through my guts. But... <clears throat> that cure did the trick. Quick sharp too. I thank you for your help. But I've got to get moving. Carl's oh. garters. Oh, I don't have time for this. My kin need me. Two. Seems you're the helping kind. All right. I need you to rescue my kin. Where are they? Not charity, mind. We can pay. Excellent. We're Iron Hand Clan. <laughs> Best artificers in Baldur's Gate. We were on an expedition down here when the Dwergar snatched us up. I got away, but not the others. The Greys have them digging out some old ruin across the lake. Expedition. What, what are you doing? Materials. Nothing unusual. But our work pays well. Help my oh. man. And we'll make it worth your insight failed. Alright. Thank you. Only wish I could go with you. But here. Look. I nabbed these boots from the Greys when I ran. I'll feel better knowing you're using them to kick some Dwegger ass. Oh, boots. I'll mark where I made my escape. And uh, wait here, I suppose. Not much choice, eh? Pretty good boots, honestly. Boots of speed. 
click heals class action? What does it do? It's basically like a bonus action dash instead of an action to full action dash. Okay. You can use that on. once every long rest or whatever. I'll put them on. Uh, you probably want to talk to a sovereign spa over there. The sovereign's thick fingers stroke the corpse at its feet. <laughs> fingers. Jeez. The fuck is with the language here? Are we about to, like, get thirst from a fungus? I mean, look at him. Smash, dude. A violent vision grips you. Dwega, dark dwarves chopping myconid remains. They broke our peace. They killed our young. The Sovereign's song slows to the pace of a dirge. It is still in mourning. We laid waste to many, but intruders remain. Lakewood. The Sovereign's song holds oh, as it measures your words. Towards the lake. I sense your resolve. You will find Dwergar invaders near Lake's Edge. Cleanse the rot. Destroy them. Dwergar invaders, huh? I'd like to hear their side of the story first, but all right. What a deep yeah. purple swirl into familiar shapes. Gnomes in mining gear chased by Dwergar. The Dwergar seek a gnome. It is a guest. The Sovereign says nothing, but you hear appreciation in its song. Okay. What did you do? We breathe life into our enemy's flesh. The dead make a fine host for my growing children. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Alright. The sovereign gifts you one more vision. A wall of vines parting to reveal glowing life. Riches of magic and mind. Cleanse the rot. Riches and mind. Well, okay. Magic and mind. Yeah. You do the circle a service. We will await word. Okay. Yo. Um. Um. So what? Come down this way. So if we go down that direction, that's where. Oh, fuck. Hmm? You might want to listen in on this conversation. Okay. Reach into memory. Tell me of home. It reveals its own home in reply. A humid cove filled with decaying myconid corpses. <laughs> Jeez. God destroyed my people. I am a sovereign with no circle. This circle does not welcome me. But I have heard a song. You mean to cleanse the Dwergar rot. I mean to join you. Uh, okay. We want to let this guy help us kill the Dragar? Mm. Sure. Hmm. 
I mean, if there's conflict, there's conflict. We'll figure it out. Mm-hmm. Uh, which... Whoa, that okay. way. This is where ah. the lake are. are. Okay. But we don't necessarily have to go do that right now. We can do more exploring. No, let's just go, though. Probably a bunch of traps here. What? Gek! Got someone sneaking up on us. The car. Too loud, sun scum. Heard you stumbling. Can hear you blinking. Noise gets you eaten down here. Reckon I'll hush you. Before something hungry comes along. His gnarled fist grips an axe. Barbarian intimidation. Alright, come on. I have to I have to land one today. Yes! Nice. I'm surprised the dude hasn't recognized the boots. I'm wearing them. I <laughs> got the boots right here. Sergeant told me to. Besides, we're talking about a slave. All right. I'm leaving. Fine. Suppose I'll just eat you then. Wait, really? I'm ready. Guess a fight there was somewhat inevitable. Hmm. I'm kind of on low health, but <laughs> I guess I'll go. Oof. Uh oh, fire. Uh oh, thunder. Well, I tried well to walk it. I tried to move out of it. Apparently, I, I'm out of it and still died. I guess because I was on fire. Yeah, you're still taking fire damage from moving through it. Yeah, that's unfortunate. It's okay, I got you. Jesus Christ, Karlak. God damn. Mommy was angry. Mm -hmm. Not fucking around at all. <laughs> 
apparently there's more to do. Oh, they're like over there. Okay. Can't reach you to heal this turn. It's alright. I can just chill. There's no danger here. Silence, shit. that one's so far away. I might climb the ladder though. I'll be able to get a pommel strike off at least. No, shit. I thought I'd be able to do more that turn. Whoops. Why is the camera being all weird? Oh, well, okay. Leap away. Speak. Hopes for our army. <laughs> <laughs> There's, I guess, it's climbing down the ladders now. And... Oh, there's like three down here. The cleaves. Okay, that's fine. Time to press ahead.
Ooh. The damage. <laughs> Oh, that was only five. I saw the crit. One down. Oof, Carl, like my need help. Oh, very low, but can cut. Swift as my feet can carry me. There we go. Oh, that guy's a problem. Oh, no. That's fifty two health. It's like I collected it well. White hair. Hey, Gami. Yeah, looking forward to the long weekend. Already enjoying it just by kicking back. <laughs> I love <laughs> the crit of one. That corpse did not serve us very well. No. Bit of a cluster fuck down there. Yeah, it really is. I'm just focusing on the big target. Ha! Nice. Okay, apparently shoved Karlak, not sure why, but that's works for me. Immune to poison damage? Guess so. It's alright, the big one's nearly dead. Just has 11 health. A couple more hits, it'll, it'll work out.
Are you wow. fucking shitting me? Ninety <laughs> percent chance to hit my ass. Okay, well, Kalak is back up. Oh, I couldn't get in rain. Hang on. Oh no, I see I don't have enough. I'll just hang back. Oh shit, I hit the ladder by mistake. <laughs> So you can't get down here. There's another ladder over there. Oh, okay, cool. I mean, it's kind of cool that you can do that, but at the same time, it's, it's a little annoying. <laughs> yeah. There we go. What creatures never waters this dark? Guessing we should probably rest. Yeah, let's loot first. Okay. Great axe, you might be interested in. I'm sending to you. A great axe. Mhm. Mm Put it in your inventory. Okay. Uh, great axe. Which? What was it called? Uh. Oh no, I see it. I see it. Exterminator's, Exterminator's axe. axe. Yeah. Using it, that's that's better. Nice. You can give the sword of justice to Carlac now. Mm-hmm. The hand me down. What else I have to give to Karlak? That's pretty much it. Alright. Wait, where did you go? Right down there. I'm down here, yeah. Can you talk to Sovereign Glut? Uh, I'll try. Yeah, I want to see if you can. Otherwise, I have to have the next conversation with him. Says a bit busy at the moment. Can I? Oh, because it's tied to you, that's why. Yeah, can you move him to yourself? Is that allowed? Uh, I forgot how you do that. Multiplayer? No. Try to drag no, no. his portrait to, to your portrait. No. Okay, well, I'll just talk to him, then you can listen in. Yeah. Oh, it says... No, yeah. It's fine. The tumor is excised. But here I break ground. From the dark with a mighty circle Oh, this dude wants to overthrow. My song will fill the grotto. Death doer. 
the grotto may sustain <laughs> in the age of glut in the age of glut there may be no spore eliminate the other sovereign um what say you will Well, why does he want to turn on him? Let's sit, let's hear him out. A fate it has earned. My circle long suffered while the Dwergar flourished. I sang to Spore for help, yet it cowered in the grotto and let my people be slaughtered. Choose, smooth mind. Smooth mind? <laughs> a mighty circle and reap the reward. Well, basically called us a dumbass. As it waits for the circle of glut to devour it whole. Um, yeah, no. <laughs> After calling us smooth brains. No, I have thank no you. part of this. Yeah. It is my right. It is my right. That's a Dead dictator. Harmonies turn to scrapes and scratches. Your corpse will birth my circle. I kinda saw this coming. Yeah. Okay. Wow, it's still missed. Okay, there are that that's a that's a crit right there. <laughs> Just absolutely fucking beating the shit out of this thing. Alright, Shadowheart, get in on this shit. <laughs> God, you suck. <laughs> Shadowheart, every time. Oh dear. The thing is, if Shadowheart would land it, that would be the. Oh, jeez. I mean, look. Just end that right now. Oh crap. Lizzie died doing what he loved. Usurping. Shadowheart. Please resurrect Karlak. <laughs> it's okay. We should take a rest now. I guess we're going back to town. Yeah, we can go. Let them know that we solved their Dwegar problem. Hey, what about the uh, the captives? But that's over the lake, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, it's a Maybe separate. I thought taking the I... boat. Yeah, we'll do. We'll go back to town. We have a fast time. travel back to the beach too, so it'll be fine. Yeah. I thought I was wearing new armor, but it's actually just the blood red. Well, there's a bunch of. Explosive stocks up there. Yeah, I'm going back down. Light on my feet. This isn't the way forward, anyway. Nope. Yeah, we need to go back. So I'm going back down. I just got lost. We can just fast travel back to the mic in the colony, actually. Okay. Easiest. No peace. 
No pace. The other one greets you with a harrowing elegy, cheerless as the new moon. Okay, well, let's just you go to with spore. Your throat tightens, then relaxes. The air is serene, your mind untroubled. And I sense only silence from the Dwergar hunters. The rot is cleansed. The songs we sing now carry your spirit. You shall now be called Kin Spirit. <laughs> kin Spirit. You aid us in good faith. You fucking hippies, in man. Good faith. <laughs> I thank you. The Guardian Gate is open. Go and claim your reward. Ooh. But before this, I have another boon to ask of you. You have cut out the Dwergarb light, but not its source. Okay. In your mind's eye, Spore shows you a drow striding among Myconid dead. Near. This one is called. He hunted us. Hunt him in turn. Bring me his head. And I will know my circle is safe. This near sounds like bad news. Guess we could lend a hand, right? Yeah, sure. The drow lurks in oh, no, Carl, like a proves. The lake. Bring him death and return. Uh, should we do the like thing first? I suppose we should rest. Yeah, we should go get the, uh... The rewards as well. Yeah, let's just rest first, because low HP across the board. Yeah. I mean, except for me, I'm fine. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, I feel so white right now, dude. <laughs> feel so white? Why? I'm eating... Pumpkin spice cookies. Oh boy. They're short red cookies with pumpkin spice and yogurt coating. I mean, I had cheese and meat, so you know. Oh. Growing up, would not have envisioned me eating that. Yeah, this year we're gonna go to a pumpkin patch again. That's yeah, I'm, that's still the whitest thing I've ever done in my entire life. <laughs> my ass in a pumpkin patch just did not feel right, dude. <laughs> Walking through corn mazes and shit, I was like, "What is this?" Oh my god! What universe did I step into? Went to good old fashioned hoot and nanny. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a box social, uh, a hoedown, what else? Mm hmm Was this square dancing? Uh, well, they were firing... Like, apples out of cannons. <laughs> what? Yeah, you know, they had, like, these air cannons they were, like, yeah. firing out. You could, like, fire that, apples and shit. That's very American. Like, the t-shirt yeah. cannon. It was very American, but apple cannon. And then, of course, there's a whole pumpkin patch where you can go choose a pumpkin and all that. Hmm. There's a bunch of super overpriced, shitty food. That's pretty standard for any event, though. Yeah. I mean, that's, yeah, par for the course, exactly. But, uh, yeah, there's a corn maze. It's all multiple random... Ladies and children crying because they couldn't get out of it. 
We don't have that kind of thing in Australia, like a corn maze thing. It's just it's not a thing. I mean, I have never. I like knowledge. almost had a stroke. Like that was the first <laughs> thing I'd ever seen something like that in my entire life. It's the sort of thing you only outside see of on movies. TV. Yeah, yeah exactly. Outside of movies. Yeah. Sounds some children of the corn shit. I thought I was about to get sucked into the fucking corn and never come back. <laughs> There's no exclamation points, so I guess just rest. Yeah. Yeah, well, they had like a hay bale ride to the corn maze, too, where you're just like shoved in these little like carts that's pulled by tractors, like shoulder to shoulder with other people. Jeez. That was just terrible. Like, don't get me wrong, I had fun, but I'm just saying it's the whitest say, thing did, I've ever but done. Did, but did you have fun? That's that was what I was about to well, ask. Well, I, I, I was with my friends, you okay. know what I mean? Yeah. So, of course, I had fun in that sense, but... Yeah. Like, I could have done something else with my friends and still had a better time, you know? It wasn't on your list of things you thought you were going to do that day. Or ever. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I wouldn't picture myself either. I mean, look, I'm, I'm pretty Aussie, like, not Aussie Aussie, but even I wouldn't be like, corn maze? Nah, man. <laughs> it's not me. Oh, this is a new hmm. update thing, the magic mirror. Magic mirror? I saw the mirror. Yeah, you can, like, change how you look. Oh, can you change colors? Or is it just character visuals? Yeah, I think it's just... Oh. It'd be cool if I could make the hat yellow. Well, there's no new exclamation mark, so let's just head out, I guess. Yeah, hold on, let me just... Oh, I already clicked it. Well, you don't really have to wait for me, I'm just looking at... Okay. If I can change... Okay, I don't mind. I think the the only activity that I would say is very white, or I guess Aussie, that I've done, um, would how do I explain this? It's the thing that um, senior citizens do here, particularly in the circles of like um, like. Uh, veterans. Army veterans. Uh -huh. It's like this thing called lawn balls. So lawn they have a, a, balls? Yeah, it's like bowl. It's... <sighs> I'd have it's to like croquet, cro cro what the fuck is that game it's called? Croquet. The little it's hammers like, and the balls? Yeah, it, it's along those lines, but without the little hammers. It's, it's pretty much that. It's played on a lawn, and you roll the ball, and you have to, like get it to a target, and then you can knock people away from the target. It's kind of like that. It's like... Okay. You know the, the cornhole game? It's kind of like that, yeah. but without the hole, and it's with balls. That's the best way I can explain it. Um, But yeah, there are, there's like a club, a venue that you go to, to do that. So one year, that's what we did at a Christmas thing. Like, we had a barbecue there. And then we did that. <laughs> it's just like, not something I'd ever picture myself doing, but yeah. Yeah. I get that. Because the rest of the crowd doing it were definitely um, in their 50s, 60s. <laughs> Probably yeah. older. It'd be like if I ever played polo, I'd be like, I am... Mm. Exactly. Too much of a poor kid for this shit. <laughs> like, this... Yeah, no, I definitely feel that, man. <laughs> uh, like, it was two things. It was poor kid, immigrant, but also it's just like, it's a very Australian white person thing. It just is. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, I'm just at this waterfall thing. Okay. I kind of wish it would show where your party was on the edge of the map. Yeah, I'm just in a little area with the like the reward 
that gave us looting all of it. Okay. So I'm not camp. I'll be right back real quick. Yeah, sure. I am just terrible with directions. Hang on, where is he? Oh, there, I see. Aha! Well, I mean, there's a bunch of other stuff I have that's probably not useful. Maybe I should sell since I'm here. Well, show me your wares and okay. Hey, this was Future Will. Um, just letting you know that I'm gonna split the vod here because it became very long. But thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.